The topic of lecture today is uveitis and tuberculosis. As we are starting bacterial uveitis. As usual, we are going to start with introduction. TB is a chronic granulomatous infection, usually caused in humans by Mycobacterium tuberculosis. It is primarily a pulmonary disease but may spread by the bloodstream to other sites. Ocular involvement commonly occurs without clinically overt systemic disease. Immune deficiency is a risk factor when atypical mycobacteria such as Mycobacterium avium may cause disease. Anterior uveitis is a common uh, ocular feature and is usually granulomatous. Iris nodules may be present and broad posterior sinecum may form. Botrytis is very common and may be secondary to anterior, intermediate or posterior uveitis. Um, where the primary foci may lie. Macular complications include cystoid macular edema and epiretinal membrane formation, choroidal granuloma or tubercle uh, can uh, uh, form, uh, it can present as a focal elevated dome shaped lesion as shown in the figure here, there is a single focal elevated dome shaped lesion um, as I am encircling it and it may be unilateral or bilateral, uh, solitary or multiple. Uh, extensive infiltration may occur uh, in individuals with AIDS. A large abscess-like tubercle is termed as tuberculoma. And in this figure, there is extensive infiltration here. And this might uh, look like a patient with acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Other features include choroiditis, which is independent of tubercles. Uh, they are typically multifocal in a, uh, and in a centrifugally uh, spreading cervigenous pattern called cervigenoid uh, and they are being increasingly recognized. Choroiditis uh, the tracts, retinal vessels may have reasonably specificity for TB. It can be seen in the uh, figure, even though it is present with a single tubercle here. You can see that there is subretinal presence here as the vessels are passing over it and there are multiple area in areas of hypo and hyperfluorescence in the uh, fluorescent and geography. Retinal vasculitis is preferentially venous. Retinal hemorrhages are common. Vascular occlusion with extensive ischemia and pre-retinal or disc new vascularization can occur. It is hypothesized that at least some causes of uh, Eels disease uh, represent a hypersensitivity reaction to TB. Other manifestations include reddish brown eyelid module, which is lupus vulgaris, conjunctivitis, flectanulosis, interstitial keratitis, scleritis. Um, exudative retinal detachment, optic neuropathy, uh, which might include neuroretinitis. Coming towards investigation, the diagnosis is often made clinically considering evidence of previous TB exposure and other negative investigations. A tuberculin skin test may show a positive result within 48 hours as it is shown in the figure here. This is a positive uh, tuberculin skin test. 
um, systemic assess uh, assessment by an appropriate specialist. Uh, newer investigations include sputum testing with PCR and the interferon gamma release assay (IGRA) uh, blood test. This is approximately as sensitive as skin testing, 80% in active disease, but has the advantage of being independent of previous BCG vaccinations. HIV status must be determined. Chest X-ray, CT, positron emission tomography, also called HET, are among other tests that must be considered. Uh, other than that, ocular investigations include Echos and orbitra sampling, but they rarely yield uh, demonstrable um, uh, mycobacteria in the smear form for acid past SLI on Zedin staining or culture for Lewinstein Jensen medium. Uh, PCR is highly specific but of variable sensitivity. OCT is useful for macular evaluation. Fluorescent angiography may be helpful in establishing whether choroditis is active as well as confirming her uh, pre-retinal neovascularization and demonstrating ischemia. Fundus autofluorescence allows activity staging lesions becoming progressively hypo or autofluorescent with healing. Uh, the next step would be treatment. Uh, prolonged multi-drug therapy, often poor initially, um, should be prescribed and monitored by a specialist with experience in systemic TB management. If ethambutol is used, monitoring for optic neuropathy should take place. Rifabutin can cause uh, anterior uveitis non-adherence to treatment is common. Treatment with TB medication in patients with uveitis associated with latent TB uh, halves the risk of uveitis recurrences and delays the onset of first recurrence. Um, use of topical and systemic steroid um, um, concomitantly to reduce inflammation induced damage particularly in the early weeks of treatment when they may retard, retard paradoxical worsening of the fundus appearance uh, uh, and in the end laser may be applied to the ischemic retina to treat pre-retinal neovascularization so that's how we conclude the topic of uveitis and tuberculosis uh, if you like the lecture, please press on the like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, thank you all.